Here's a simple magic trick that you can do. All you'll need is one of these special cleaners that changes from blue to white. You'll also need a secret ingredient, but I'll tell you what that is later. I don't want to ruin the surprise. To carry out the trick, I'll first spray the cleaner onto this surface, and then I'll pour the contents of this magic cup onto the cleaner. Wow, that's really cool. It changes the cleaner from blue to white right before your eyes. In fact, this cup is so magical that I don't even need to pour it. Let me show you what I mean. First, I'll spray the surface, and then I'll just hold the magic cup above the cleaner. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Let me show you how to do this trick. I'll remove this insert from inside the cup to see what's behind it. That's dry ice, which is also known as solid carbon dioxide. That's the secret ingredient. If I turn the cup over, I see a small hole has been cut in the bottom of the cup. The dry ice that is placed in the cup goes directly from a solid to a gas. This causes a lot of carbon dioxide gas to build up in the cup. When the cup is poured over the surface of the cleaner, carbon dioxide gas flows out of the cup and onto the cleaner and the carbon dioxide gas changes the color in the cleaner from blue to white. On the other hand, when the cup is held over the cleaner, the carbon dioxide flows out of the small hole in the bottom of the cup and onto the cleaner, changing the color of the cleaner from blue to white. What's the science behind the color change? Well, the cleaner contains a dye called thymolphthalein. Thymolphthalein is an acid-base indicator. It's colorless in an acid such as is in this beaker. However, it's blue in a base. Let's add some base to the beaker to see what happens. As expected, a blue color develops. Let's add some dry ice to the beaker. Remember, dry ice is solid carbon dioxide. Hey look, the color disappears. And if I add base, the color returns again. Carbon dioxide reacts with water to form carbonic acid. And when enough of this carbonic acid builds up, the color disappears because thymolphthalein is colorless in an acid. Now we know how the trick works. The cleaner contains both thymolphthalein and base, giving it a blue color. As the carbon dioxide from the dry ice bubbles into the cleaner, it takes the color away. We can easily see this happen if we spray some of the cleaner next to the beaker. The carbon dioxide bubbling out of the beaker and spilling over the sides of the container immediately changed the color of the cleaner from blue to white. Let me show you one more trick you can do. See if you can figure out how I do it. Nothing in my hand. I'll wave my hand over the cleaner. Abracadabra. This last trick is accomplished by secretly breathing over the cleaner as I wave my hand over it. The carbon dioxide gas that I'm exhaling in my breath changes the color from blue to white.